Wednesday, J.J. and Ten Speed probe the death of a poker player. Will luck be in the cards in solving the murder on J.J. Starbuck? Then it's more wacky wild fun on NBC's new summer show, Funny People. From a circus with rock music to a troupe of whistling midgets, the laughs are non-stop. And Fiska stands at the threshold of 30, determined to pull off the biggest prank in the history of St. Elsewhere before crossing into adulthood. Will he do it Wednesday night? She was an innocent woman who found the perfect husband. I want to make you happy. Then she found out what he really did for a living. Cocaine. I won't be a prisoner. Now it could cost her her life. Starring Joe Penny and Melissa Gilbert in Blood Vows, the story of a mafia wife. Monday. Come on to the back. Only on TV. Have you got a great look that turns heads on the street? Or are you missing the fashion beat? Always just out of step with style. From the famous fashion do's and don'ts of Glamour magazine to a man who can rate your style IQ before he even sees you, just from the shoes on your feet. We're going to help you get fashion in focus. It's how to fight fashion failure. That's the fashionable focus of the next Geraldo. Something new is in the air at Pizza Hut. Introducing hand-tossed traditional pizza. And people everywhere are taking off for a pizza that's reaching new heights with an out-of-this-world offer. Get a large, supreme, hand-tossed pizza with six delicious toppings, only $9.99. So go ahead, take off for Pizza Hut today and land a large, supreme, hand-tossed pizza, only $9.99. Pizza Hut, make it great. There's a builder who still takes pride in the detail of his craft. Lake Breeze Estates, developer and builder, has homes and lots in the Bridal Path subdivision waiting for your inspection. Homes that fit family needs and lifestyles. Cedar siding, large rooms, cathedral ceilings, fireplaces, skylights, and more. Add to the contemporary or traditional designs you choose. For country living convenient to shopping centers and the expressway, stop by Bridal Path, off Scribner Road in beautiful Penfield. Come on to the best. Cher was inside the house. A paparazzi photographer was standing in her driveway. Cher's 24-year-old boyfriend drove up in his Ferrari. The car engine roared. The tires screeched. The photographer dove for cover. Two cars crashed. Cher's boyfriend went to jail. I know Robert. You know, he's not a violent man. This is not Sean Penn and Madonna, you know? Cher's nightmare. The whole story. That's Monday at 7, only on TV8. WROC TV8, Rochester. Rochester's first television station. This is News 8 Nightbeat. Rochesterians give so that it doesn't hurt. Good evening, I'm Brad Couples. Steve Otteson has the night off. For six hours this afternoon, WROC-TV presented the Six Hours for Life tele-event to benefit the Leukemia Society. We did it. We did it. Thank you for your contribution. $50,000 is going to take everything up to that. That's Many national right. performers pitched in to raise money for the research projects that are already underway into finding a cure for the deadly disease and for projects yet to be created. This is what they refer to as the medical play table, and the children are able to do reenact the actual procedures that are done to them. So Mikey right here is uh, what, doing... What are you doing, Mikey? I'm doing a spinal tap. Uh, Mike is doing a spinal tap, and uh, Nicole, do you know what you're doing? Spinal tap. What is she doing? Spinal tap. She's also She's doing a spinal tap. How about you, Aaron? Drawing. She's drawing. Here in Rochester, News 8 personalities pitched in along with representatives of the local Leukemia Society and volunteers from a number of local companies, including Wegmans, and some representatives of organized labor. But we can use any amount, 5, 10, 20, a million dollars will take. $50 now from Alan Knott of Pittsburgh. We thank Alan. That's $100, the equivalent of it, because of... Mr. Kays, part of the local segment featured a spotlight on efforts that are being made here in the Flower City to combat leukemia, which is a leading killer of children. The disease, however, can strike both children and adults, men as well as women. 
50% of all of children who have leukemia are being saved right now because of your donations. We'd also like to thank Preferred Care and Genesee Beer and Ale for their contributions. What you do is just give us a call at 288-9560. Use the credit card or if you want to pay cash or a check. Locally, we raised over $32,000 for the Leukemia Society. The national televent total was over $5 million. From all of us here at WROC-TV, thank you. Today's weather was perhaps the best so far this year for the Monroe County Fair. Organizers say Friday's rain didn't dampen the fun too much. Attendance is up over last year at this point. More than $40,000 worth of free entertainment is featured. Fair organizers this year decided on a longer presentation, 10 days instead of the customary six. Uh, we just thought it's been six days for quite a while now, and the Midway operator uh, thought that 11-day fair, he had done some things around the country, that, and it proved successful, so we thought we'd try it here. The fair is going to run for another week. Well, they were certainly throwing the bowl today at the county fair. Well, maybe not throwing it so much as riding it. The All-American Rodeo at the Monroe County Fair gives weekend cowboys, you know, the ones who get their experience from a riding mower, a chance to see the pros in action. Who are they and what are they like? Robin DeWin found out and filed this report. It's a life like no other. Traveling from town to town on the rodeo circuit makes for long, hard days. But for these professional cowboys who come from all walks of life, the prize isn't always the purse, but the thrill of winning. So I use the philosophy that when I step up to that secretary and I hand her my money, that I consider myself the best contestant there that day. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But everybody... The rodeo in modern times is divided into 12 rodeo circuits that travels throughout the country, performing at fairs, carnivals, and old west shows. There is money in it, but you gotta win it, you know, and if you don't win it, you gotta kinda live out of a car, basically. It's a pretty good life. Well, you get to go all over the country. You work great eight seconds a day. It's a good life. The rodeo these days is not just meant for the men. It's hard. It's, it's tough back here. There isn't money in it like there is, you know, farther out west, but there's a lot more uh, activity than people realize on the East Coast. You know, there's a lot of rodeos. You, you can go to rodeo every week, you know. Just being at the rodeo kind of makes you feel like a cowboy. Cowboys next to professional football players. Cowboys have the second highest pain tolerance of any athlete in the world. Okay, these guys are hurt and they ride hurt. They do it because they love the sport and they love the, the competition. Robin DeWind, News 8. Three people were hurt in a head-on crash this afternoon in Brighton. Police say a pickup truck driven by 23-year-old Gary Bossy of Fall River, Massachusetts, made a left turn in front of a car at the intersection of Crittenden Road in West Henrietta. The pickup hit the car head-on, actually riding up on the front of the car. It took firefighters about a half hour to pull 27-year-old Kenneth Bolter and his wife Deborah out of the wreck. Both suffered multiple injuries. They're being treated at Strong. Bossy was also injured, taken a strong. No charges have been filed yet. Last night, we told you about a massive state police radar enforcement effort that resulted in more than 300 speeding tickets being handed out. Today came confirmation of an added bonus. Troopers stopped a car at the setup in Bushnell's Basin last evening, and when 33-year-old Michael Bess of Buffalo couldn't produce a driver's license, he was held up while a computer check was run. Turns out he was wanted in Florida on murder charges stemming from a killing in Tampa back in 1983. He's now in the Ontario County Jail being held without bail on fugitive charges. Oh yes, he was also ticketed for speeding and driving without a license. Add the owner of the boat we're about to see to your list of unhappy people. The 44-foot Pearson docked behind uh, Voyager boat sails started to take a voyage of its own straight down. Owners of a nearby boat noticed the Pearson was taking on water, a lot of it, and called the fire department and the Coast Guard. The Pearson's owner had apparently left a freshwater intake hose open overnight. They're reporting some pretty serious damage to the boat from the unplanned dunking. Coming up next on the night beat, the writers could be back on the job very soon.
why do smart carpet shoppers wait for Max Pie's August carpet sale year after year? This is a store-wide sale with up to 70% off the largest carpet inventory in the East. Including DuPont certified Stainmaster carpets. $39 carpets on sale for only $8.99. With six months to pay, interest-free. We'll even install your carpet at no extra charge. Remnants are reduced another 10% off already low prices. That's why people wait for Max Pie's August carpet sale. Introducing the new warm 101.3 FM. Elton John, Chicago, Whitney Houston. It's just one great song after another. At last, Rochester has a radio station that plays the best soft rock with less talk. They have a lot less talk. That's what I really like about warm. The new warm 101.3 FM plays more songs in a row. They play so much more music. I love it. Try the new warm 101.3 FM. Soft rock, less talk. Exclusively at Sibley's. It's finally over. After five long months of war, the Writers Guild of America has agreed to a new contract with movie and television producers. Writers Guild members gathered on both coasts today to vote on the contract, which didn't prove to be as profitable as the writers had hoped. Guild negotiator Brian Walton encouraged members to vote yes in spite of the contract's shortcomings. Recommended by your negotiating committee by a vote of 11 to 5 with two abstentions by the Council of Writers Guild East by a vote of 14 to 0 and by the Board of Directors of Writers Guild West by a vote of 11 to 6 with one abstention. I join in those recommendations. However, not all of the writers feel that enough has been gained by the walkout. I think if we'd stayed out a bit longer, we might have at least answered the question. It, it, it's the old... Uh, the town bully situation, you know, uh, the bully uh, bothers you and you keep running away. Well, in this instance, I think uh, that we're, we're running away from the bully again. Be nice to stand up to the bully. Now that the contract has been ratified, writers should see improvements in creative control over scripts, and American viewers should see a schedule of brand new programs for the fall. But most of the fall premieres won't hit the air until late October. A spectacular boating accident in Pittsburgh today. A Formula One racing boat piloted by a Canadian went out of control after hitting debris in the water and flew onto the banks of the river. It happened in the middle of Three Rivers Regatta. The river banks were jammed with onlookers. Eleven children are among the 22 injured. The boat's operator only slightly injured, but he was treated for shock. Local police are calling it a possible auto theft ring. They may not be all related, but police say there seems to have been a rash of stolen cars over the weekend. Authorities in Webster believe a group of thieves working together is responsible for a car that turned up missing from the village yesterday. Sheriff's Department's looking for a car taken from Pittsburgh last night, and they did recover a car on Monroe Avenue this morning. That one reportedly stolen from Gates. And Arundaquate police have also recovered two stolen cars, one found downtown on Bernard Street, the other one turned up in Hamlin. A 40-year tradition continued today in Rochester. The Ralph Bunch scholarships were presented this afternoon at the Memorial AME Zion Church on Clarissa Street. The scholarships honor the work done at the United Nations by Bunch. The fund, over the years, has provided money to help over 1,800 students through their first year of college. And they were established by the NAACP in 1948. Well, we're in for some good sleeping weather tonight. The latest forecast coming up next with Dave Coombs. Summertime is definitely Chevy time. Save up to $1,500 on Chevy cars, $2,650 on Chevy trucks. So drive up, drive to your Monroe County Chevy dealer. I'm Gary Eidlin. And Tony Gentry. To tell you about Eidlin Gentry's August carpet sale, our greatest store-wide sale of the year. Tony, tell the people about our great selection of DuPont certified Stainmaster carpets, all on sale. No. Then tell them about our $32 carpet on sale for $10. No. Okay, wise guy, is there an extra charge for patent labor? No. Any payments or interest for six full months? No. Any chance of extending this tremendous sale? No. Eidlin Gentry's August carpet sale, tomorrow, 10 till 9. 
You know what I like about buying gas at Delta Sonic? No, what? The attendants are always friendly, the pumps are spotless, and the price is great. But what I really like... What do you really like? The gas. None of those funny additives, just pure quality gasoline. Now, most locations have 100-octane racing fuel, the same gasoline used by America's racing champions. And that's perfect for guys like me. Delta Sonic gasoline. More power to you. When you join the club at Moto Photo, you start saving money right away. You get three rolls of film, and the best part, you save 25% on every roll of film we process. That can mean savings of $50 a year or more on the highest quality one-hour photo finishing anywhere. Save with special discounts on all Moto Photo merchandise and services. Save all this all year. So, to join the club and pack up 25% savings on quality one-hour photo processing, see the pros at Moto Photo and take your savings with you. Dave Coombs is here with the weather and uh, no air conditioners tonight. No air conditioners. It was a beautiful day in Rochester, Brad. A uh, beautiful day to be outdoors, in fact, with a perfect concoction of clouds and sunshine and especially some relief from that oppressive humidity we had earlier. Probably got to give the old fan a rest today and you won't need it much tonight. Currently in Rochester, we have clear skies and 68 degrees with a light southwest wind of 5 miles per hour. Around the state right now, we have readings mostly in the 60s with uh, slightly higher temperatures in the Buffalo area. The SUNY Brockport Almanac for tomorrow predicts sunrise for 608. Also, as you can see, Rochester's all-time low for tomorrow's date, August 8th, was a chilly 49 degrees recorded back in 1903, the year the Wright brothers made their famous airplane flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Going down the runway, I think it was Orville who coined the phrase, take off, hoser. Don't know for sure. Now, the state of the national weather today depends on your point of view. Today's low was 34 degrees in Truckee, California, while the high was 109 out in Bullhead City, Arizona. Our earlier satellite picture shows tropical depressions off the coast of Maine and down south off the Louisiana shore. The former storm, you see it in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, has uh, been named Alberto, and it's moving up through Nova Scotia right now with heavy rains. The other system has been dumping rain in New Orleans and could develop into a hurricane. Have to keep an eye on that one. The system you see stretched out across the Midwestern states brought severe thunderstorms to Minnesota earlier today. A lightning bolt destroyed a radar installation in Minneapolis. Heavy winds ripped up signs and uprooted trees on golf courses in that area. This was all good news, however, for the region's farmers who got a good inch of much needed rain. This rain is headed slowly eastward. As we switch to the national color map projection for tomorrow, we can track that system. Most of the heavy precipitation will move to the southeast, but we should get some of it by midweek at least. Till then, it looks pretty good. Our radar here is working. It shows mostly clear conditions around Rochester with a slight shower just north of the city up toward the Lake Ontario shore. And as we move to tomorrow's marine forecast for the lake, it sounds pretty ominous, doesn't it? It's safe to assume Mr. Jaws will be soon only on a home video tomorrow. The lake will have light winds. And now the Rochester forecast tonight. It's going to be clear. Uh, west winds up to 15 miles per hour and low in the 60s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, high in the mid-80s. Tomorrow night, partly cloudy with lows in the upper 60s. Tuesday, there's going to be a chance of rain, 30%, but mostly sunny. So it looks pretty good. And sports is next with Jim Gammon. This Olympic Viewer's Guide is brought to you by City Mattress, your betting experts. The lift is one of the more spectacular elements in duet swimming. Underwater, the skills employed are amazing. The strength of her egg beater legs provides a base maintaining her depth in the water as she assists her partner out of the water to chin level. She immediately resumes her duet position in the routine, effortlessly achieving the vertical position with bent knee, all in perfect unison, making it all look so easy. If you don't start flocking the city mattress, I'm going to lose my job. He's kidding. We'd never fire him. Sales get any lower, we're out of business. Shoney, you know sales are great. My house is a shambles. It's home. I can't afford bus fare to work. Two cars. I'm desperate. I'll even deliver the mattress myself. Sure. He's never even picked one up. Tell you what I'm going to do. Come to city mattress right now, and I'll give you a mattress free. Shoney. Okay. During our summer clearance, come and save 10 to 50% on everything you need to sleep. Could you imagine anything more exciting? Could you dream of anything more thrilling? Could you experience 
makes anything more touching. Could you ever spend a happier day? They're hot. They're here. They're TVATs. All summer long, guys and gals are slipping into the finest styles to be seen for miles. Plus, wear your TVAT to win premium prizes and discover dazzling discounts. From WROC TVA to Rochester's own champion products come TVATs. Available exclusively at Rochester area J.C. Penny locations. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Get them while it's hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Red Wings are on their way home. Jim Gaiman has sports. <laughs> Okay, the Wings wrapped up their road trip through Virginia on a good note. Rochester beat Richmond 5-1. to one. John Habian went the distance allowing only six hits. Ken Landro provided the power with a two-run single in the fourth. The Wings return home tomorrow night for a three-game series with Tidewater. To Detroit where they were scoreless through nine. Here Jeff Robinson striking out Boston to Ellis Burks. We move to the 10th with Mike Greenwell on third base. Todd Benzinger takes a base hit to right. Greenwell comes home, 1-0 Boston. Later, Jody Reed at the plate. He lays down a bunt that Willie Hernandez can't handle. Burks comes in the score, 2-0 Sox. Bruce Hurst went the whole way, picked up his 12th win. Boston over Detroit, 3-zip in 10 innings. To Yankee Stadium, bottom of the first, Ken Phelps smacks a single to right. Don Mattingly will score on the play, putting New York ahead 2-0 over the Twins. Now in the fifth, Claudel Washington lifts a sacrifice fly to center. Kirby Puckett makes the catch. Randy Velarde scores easily. 3-0 Yankees. Minnesota scored one in the ninth, but it wasn't enough. New York over the Twins, 5-1. And in Toronto, third inning, Kansas City's Jamie Quirk smashes the ball deep to right. It's gone. Quirk's fifth homer of the season, 1-0 Royals. And now in the sixth with Kurt Stillwell against Jim Clancy. Stillwell bloops the ball over second base. That scores Brad Wellman, 2-1 Kansas City. To the seventh with the Royals leading 4-1, Bo Jackson, who was 0 for 15, drills this one to deep left center field. Home run number 17 for Bo. Kansas City over the Blue Jays, 5-1. Elsewhere in the American League, Milwaukee's Rob Deere had a big day at the plate. He homered, doubled, and hit two singles as the Brewers beat Baltimore 7-2. Chicago doubled the Angels 6-3. Former wing Kelly Paris with a home run, his first in the major leagues. Seattle surprised the A's 12-7, and Cleveland was shut up by Texas 2-0. Over in the National League, the Mets topped the fire at 6-2. David Cohn got the win. He's now 12-2. The Giants broke a four-game losing streak, 14-4 over the Braves. Cincinnati nipped the Padres by a run. Montreal swept St. Louis 11-5. Lance Parrish belted a three-run homer to lead the Phillies over Chicago 7-4. And Houston cut L.A.'s lead in the West to two and a half games by dumping the Dodgers 4-2. After being the bridesmaid six times in his career, Jody Mudd finally walked down the aisle and won the PGA St. Jude Classic. He finished at 15-under, one stroke ahead of Nick Price and Peter Jacobson. Rochester's Jeff Sluman wrapped up at 6-under par. Here's Mudd with his third shot on number 13. Very the low. ball rolls up close. He would tap in for par and stay in the lead. To Jacobson on 17, he makes this birdie putt to move 14 under. As we say, Jacobson and Price are tied for second. And here's the winning putt for par on 18. Mudd collects $172,000. Martha Nowsey won the LPGA's Pat Bradley Invitational where they use the Stableford scoring system. She took the event with 14 points. Judy Dickinson and Debbie Massey tied for second at 13. Aoko Okamoto was third with a 12, followed by Nancy Lopez. And the tourney's namesake wrapped up with a 3. To tennis, where Boris Becker met John McEnroe for the U.S. Hard Courts title. Becker used his serve to take the championship. This was the third time that the West German has beaten Johnny Mack in his career. The entire match took just over an hour and a half. Becker wins at 6-4, 6-2. The U.S. Olympic basketball team began an eight-game tour against the NBA Stars today in Providence. Danny Manning and Dan Marley each scored 13 points to lead the Olympians over the pros, 90-82. Second half action, Team USA in blue. Vernell Coles shot no good, but Charles Smith slams home the rebound. Later, Smith pops from the corner. It's no good. Sean Elliott hustles to keep it alive. Over to Manning for the high percentage shot. <laughs> the NBA Stars works about to Patrick Ewing. He lays it in for two of his game-high 16 points. And then it's Marley driving the lane. He drops it in. USA over the NBA 90-82. to 
In auto racing, the Penske team was added again at the Marlboro 500 in Michigan. Danny Sullivan finished more than a lap ahead of the pack, averaging over 180 miles per hour. That's a record for the fastest 500-mile IndyCar race. Bobby Rahal finished second with Michael Andretti coming in third. Only eight of 28 starting cars were still running at the end. This was Sullivan's second victory of the season and the ninth of his career. And here are tonight's results from Batavia Downs. The Daily Double of 4 and 1 was worth $196, and the 10th race trifecta of 6, 9, and 7 came in for $1,109. And we'll be showing highlights from the final day at the Empire State Games, right at 11.30 from Syracuse. And the Wings, as I said, begin a three-game homestand with the Tides. Richmond will come to town on Thursday, and Brad, that is sports. And Jim, 1988-1989 hunting and fishing licenses go on sale tomorrow from the DEC. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> Next on the night beat, butterflies. For 12 earth-shaking hours, noon until midnight, Monday, August 8th, Dorschel is going to sell Buicks, Toyotas, and Isuzus at the lowest prices of the year. Toyota Corollas from $73.97, loaded Isuzu iMark sedans from $83.97, and new Buicks at just 1.5% over GM factory invoice. And remember, if Dorschel can't beat any bona fide order you have on a new Buick, Toyota, or Isuzu, car for car, option for option, Dorschel will give you the car for free. Monday, noon until midnight at Dorschel's. Why do smart carpet shoppers wait for Max Pie's August carpet sale year after year? This is a store-wide sale with up to 70% off the largest carpet inventory in the East. Including DuPont certified Stainmaster carpets. $39 carpets on sale for only $8.99. With six months to pay, interest-free. We'll even install your carpet at no extra charge. Remnants are reduced another 10% off already low prices. That's why people wait for Max Pie's August carpet sale. Hi, I'm James Smith of J&E Grocery. I'd like to let you know that we have your favorite foods right here, from smoked meaty neck bones to T-bone steaks. And this week's specials are all beef alone are $2.49 a pound, beef liver $0.79 a pound, smoked neck bones $1.09 a pound, fresh turkey wings $0.53 a pound, ground chuck $1.69 a pound, boneless beef stew $2.29 a pound at J&E Grocery, 139 Reynolds Street. Almost everyone's been affected in some way by this season's merciless drought. Even Mother Nature's own creatures are struggling to contend with the lack of water. Ken Schmidt has the story of one particular creature's struggle, the butterfly. I don't know why the pests always seem to survive drought better than the, what you might call the good guys, you know, the butterflies that are beautiful. Ernie Schull has been collecting butterflies since he was five. While an amateur, he's gained considerable knowledge about all species found in the Hoosier State. Shull is having a tougher time this year adding to his collection. He says butterflies are becoming scarce because this year's drought is hurting their food supply. If the food plant source isn't there, and if the, even more importantly in some species, if the nectar source is not there, well then the butterflies cannot survive. There we go. While he's disappointed so far with this year's catch, Shaw says it'll take more than the current drought to do permanent damage. If we had two or three years drought in a row, then it's conceivable that some species would become extinct. The Midwest has been getting more rain lately. That's brought Shaw some encouragement, but he says the benefits will differ by species. It looks to me with very little evidence right now that some of the uh, late autumn and fall skippers are going to come. We get sufficient rains now, they may come. Of course, if there's a drought in areas where they were, why then they won't come. But the rains don't guarantee more butterflies will dot our landscape in the future. Shell says they may still not survive if the rain isn't enough to grow their food as well. Reporting from North Manchester, Indiana, I'm Kent Schmidt for NBC News. Do you need a permit to hunt those things? No, I no, those, the butterflies are free. Did okay, you know that's that? True. <laughs> All right, famous we, movie. Huh? <laughs> we leave you now with the sights and sounds of Edgerton Park this afternoon. Hundreds turned out for the Firebirds Drum and Bugle Corps Championship Show. Good evening.
visit one of Central Leatherstocking Country's brightest star attractions. It's fast, it's cool, it's wild, it's hot. In Trapping Boulder's Water Safari, where the fun never stops. What a way to keep cool this summer. Water Safari at Enchanted Forest. 16 all-new water rides at New York State's largest water fun park. Enchanted Forest, Old Forge, New York. For more information, call or write Central Leather Stocking Country. Where the fun never stops. I'm Gary Eidlin. Hey, Tony Gentry. To tell you about Eidlin Gentry's August carpet sale, our greatest store-wide sale of the year. Tony, tell the people about our great selection of DuPont certified Stainmaster carpets, all on sale. No. Then tell them about our $32 carpet on sale for $10. No. Okay, wise guy, is there an extra charge for pad and labor? No. Any payments or interest for six full months? No. Any chance of extending this tremendous sale? No. Eidlin Gentry's August carpet sale, tomorrow, 10 till 9. Hi, Don Moe from Hazleton Toyota, am I right? Scott Putt and Corolla Chimp here to tell you that at Hazleton Toyota, we're not looking around. <laughs> Hazleton Toyota's having the largest year-end clearance sale in history. Now is the best time to deal in any new or used car or truck. We're not waiting for the snow to fly to clear out our inventory. No way. These cars must go now. You'll love these clearance prices. Woo-wee! It's Hazleton Toyota's year-end clearance sale. Who could ask for anything more? Yeah! Next on A Current Affair, Cher's Nightmare. Just ahead tonight on Empire State Games 88, a record-setting day in the basketball court for New York City's Kenny Anderson. Long Island and Central mix it up in the gold medal lacrosse game for the second straight year. We'll also look back at some of the other brilliant performances of the week, and the game's executive director talks about the Buffalo audit controversy next on Empire State Games 88. The Empire State Games 88 are being sponsored by Patrick Nissan Boats, J.C. Penney, Champion Products, and Pizza Hut. 